Brian Rood is one of the premier pop culture fine artists in the country. That's a pretty cool opportunity to get to participate in something like that. You'll see his creations on officially licensed merchandise from Star Wars and Marvel. Now you'll see it on both. I'm excited about dipping my toes back into those comic book waters. Issue one of Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters is a six issue story arc following Boba Fett between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. The comic book is published by Marvel and only 3,000 copies will look like this. Another 1,000 like this. They'll do an exclusive that's an exclusive cover version only for their store. It's called a variant cover and it's only available at Rupp's Comics in Fremont. Rude partnered with Rupp to release the exclusive cover. What's inside the comic book was illustrated by someone else that always stays the same. A lot of comics it is the interior guy will do the covers and everything, but oftentimes they'll kind of, uh, I wouldn't say upgrade the covers, but they'll utilize like a painter or a traditional artist or a digital painter to add a little extra flair to the cover art as opposed to the interior art. It'll be a little bit stylistically, a little bit of different style. And according to BobaFettFanClub.com, there are a lot of variants out there. So it's really cool to see all these different artists who work in all these different styles and get, you get to see their take on the same subject matter but approach it from all these different angles so it's really kind of fun to do and for me a complete a nightmare because it's all this competition and I'm all nervous is mine gonna hold up to the rest of them is it just gonna get lost in the shuffle it could also become a highly sought-after collector's item with a touch of the Toledo area's own Star Wars artist